Next up, we got the wildest mic'd up moments by the Eagles. Now, a little positive note, you know what I'm saying? Eagles, haven't heard from y'all. That's number one. How y'all been, bro? It's been a couple of weeks now. All right. Where have y'all been, bro? I hey Eagles commenters. Oh my god, I used to have so many Eagles commenters. I don't, I, I haven't seen not one bird emoji in my comments. Not one. I miss y'all. Where y'all go? Where does y'all go? Please look, look. This is a, this is a, this is a, this is a, this is like me hitting y'all up, bro. Y'all went, y'all went ghost on me. I'm hitting y'all up right now. I'm sending y'all a text. Where you been at? All right, Eagles fans, where y'all been at? I miss y'all. All right, now I know y'all be going through hell. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm making some videos, you know what I'm saying? Cry, you know, cry, Eagles cry, stuff like that. Look, this only, that was only, I'm only saying that to the toxic fans, all right? It's only to the toxic fans. All the fans that's, you know what I'm saying, delusional and shit like that, all that toxic, toxic shit, y'all, all that, bro. That's, that's for them. All the fans that's, you know, um, actually just, you know, diehard fans of their team, they just love the Eagles um, and all that stuff. Don't 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 see nothing I've I've been posting. Don't 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 worry about that. All right, you know what I'm saying. So on a positive note, we got the mic up moments. All right, now hopefully the Eagles can step it back up. All right, hopefully they can step back up. Um, y'all look mentally drained out there. Y'all look piss poor. Y'all look a lot of things, <laughs> a lot of things. All right, but as a team, look honestly, I still got faith in the Eagles, bro. I still got faith in y'all. I'm gonna just say that I got faith in y'all. Okay, y'all only y'all y'all missed y'all lost two games. It's okay. It's okay. Y'all still gonna go to the fucking playoffs. Y'all might still go to the fucking uh, Super Bowl. So it's like, bro, it's okay. Just gather y'all minds. You know what I'm saying? And 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 do what y'all gotta do, bro. Cause right now this is not it. This is not it. But hey, if y'all want more Eagles videos, hit the like button and subscribe button. Let's just hop into it. On a positive note, it's pretty messed up. It should be a felony. Hey, I ain't no snitch. They, 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 re they reacting to their own highlights. This is pretty messed up. It should be a felony. Hey, I ain't no snitch. Everyone's walking away from that dude. You the feds. I told him I was the feds. We don't talk to you. Yeah, I'm fucking <laughs> with you all game, Pat. <laughs> 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 Some of the stuff we talk about on the sideline would be real inappropriate. Ah, yo. Man, you got no shoes on, bro. Hella comfortable. Definitely. Your boy's hot, just so y'all know. Oh, absolutely. I'm not gonna be green, I'm gonna tell y'all. 1,000%. I think it's a courtesy that is appreciated by everyone. People will always forget, and they get out there, and they'll, they'll, they'll be like, oh. oh, I'm mic'd up. Everybody just goes from, <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot, bro. My bad. I forgot to tell y'all I'm mic'd up. Should there be a penalty? <laughs> I think there probably should be a penalty if you don't tell somebody. Yeah, you should be fine. I think you gotta just put money in the pot. They owe the team some money. No <laughs> money because there's Okay, so it, okay, that makes sense though. You know what I'm saying? Cause now nah, I forgot, bro. It's real life. This is real. This is not a this is not a game, bro. They're really NFL superstars out there playing at the highest level, getting paid for the sport. They be having real conversations off camera. Or, you know what I'm saying? I, I forgot they do that. So I'm like, oh, yeah. So if you're mic'd up, and you know what I'm saying? All the microphones on you. You just say all the business. <laughs> like, damn, I'm just snitching ass. Many times that I'm That's what they up, said. They're like, I'm not a snitch. I'm not a snitch. I'm not a snitch. Money. <laughs> no kind of money because there's too many times that I'm mic'd up and I forget I'm mic'd up. So I don't want to be paying into that. My question <laughs> is, how do they get mic'd up? That's the only thing I've always wondered. Like, because, um, I mean, obviously I know it's a, you know, a mic or whatever, like a cord and shit. But don't somebody have to like? I know it's somebody else who helps them get dressed with the mic in their um jerseys and stuff like that. So don't they remember that? They you don't remember that? Like it's it's probably like a because you, normally you put your pads on and stuff. It's not that hard to do that, especially if you've been doing this for your whole life. It's not hard to put your pads on. Yeah, you do that shit with, damn near uh with with no thinking. It's it's just second nature to you. You know what I'm saying? Put your pads on, bam. But now when you put your pads on, it's an extra step. It's taking longer to put your pads on. 
So my question is, how do you, what, what do they, how do they do it? Do, does somebody help them with it? Do they just put it in the shoulder pads and like, it's damn near like you don't even feel it? Like, I don't know. That's something I always, let me know in the comments. Cause that's something I always wanted to know. Like, they said they were going to mic me up, up, but I don't think I'm mic'd up. Dallas is down See, to couple times. I don't want to be paying into that. They said they were going to mic me up, but I don't think I'm mic'd up. Dallas has done a couple times where, uh, you know, it keeps us guessing. So he should be taking us to Turks and Caicos or something like that. If he doesn't, uh, if he doesn't tell us. Don't be coming at me, no <laughs> funky man I, honestly a penalty is generous it should be a felony you know what i mean they should go away for from max like max sentence max Absolutely. Sentence. <laughs> I mean, Yo, chill, some crazy man. stuff man he, he got bowled over and i put his back and i grabbed put his head in the dirt sometimes some of the stuff we talk about on the sideline be real inappropriate man i don't know why that got in the fucking too so, you know, <laughs> nice to get a little heads up every now and then yeah, i text y'all already i don't want to hear I text the receiver group and told y'all I'm wiped up. I text that yesterday. <laughs> I told y'all on Thursday I was a fit. Thursday. Oh, it's it's Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't like, you is wearing a wire. You damn near is the fizz, though. No cap. You the fizz. Bro, wearing a wire out there. Oh, you was a fed. You was an op. You was an op. You was an op. Man, it's been three to it's been three business days, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta let us know the day before. Do you change what uh, you say or how you act when you're mic'd up? Nah, that's me 24-7. Ain't nothing but a little snot. A little snot coming up out of it. Most of the time I don't be remembering it's even there. I'm quieter when I'm mic'd up, actually, than I am when I'm not mic'd up. Man, that's obvious. He said it. <laughs> Where is he at, buddy? Bro, I'm staying straight like a pencil. You know, I, I always have that Damn. mindset that I'm going to know that I'm mic'd up and uh, be careful with what I say. But once the game starts, it's, it's pretty easy to forget that you're mic'd up and uh, your personality just comes out because you're playing the game that you love. Get the ball! <laughs> Run! Sports Talk Radio. Woo! That's what they want to see, though. Do you change how you act around them? Hell yes. I'd be lying if I said no. I'm watching myself, you know, I'm sure you guys look at those clips, everyone's bleeping stuff out a lot more than uh, usual. Nah, not me personally. I might tell them stay away from me for the game if they want uh -huh. anything posted. I'm mic'd up, gang. <laughs> I'm telling you. Got he. Yeah. Yeah, I'm calling you all game, Pat. I don't know if you notice, everyone's everyone's walking away from that dude. He's the, he's a lonely guy out nine times out of ten. I told him I was the fed. Cause basically we say like, oh, you the feds. Hey, I ain't no snitch. <laughs> you trash talk at all? No, I don't trash talk. Not unless you start with me. That is <laughs> don't know. That is most of the time I'm quiet, but once you get me started, then I don't stop. I do not trash talk. I'm not good at it. It just depends on who it is. You gotta make business decisions. <laughs> I'm not, I don't think I'm that big of a trash talk. You know what's coming? Yeah. <laughs> My trash talk is usually retroactive. If a guy comes for me, then I'll say what I need to say. But me personally, I'm not gonna say nothing to you the entire game. I think I usually play better when I trash talk, so I wonder if I shouldn't Talk more trash, to be honest with you. <laughs> trash talk around the team. Slay. Honestly, I, the, the name that comes up is BG. BG. Definitely BG. Oh, I yeah, obviously. BG. I take yeah. that back. It is BG. <laughs> of course it is. I mean, there, there's no way. He's from better. Detroit. And I told y'all, too, it's a lot of people in Detroit that act just like this, bro. It all makes sense, bro. It all makes sense. You know what I'm saying? We are the best trash talkers of all time. That's all we do is talk shit. That's literally all we do. All right, BG, look, BG, his personality, bro, is 99% of all Detroiters, Michiganers, whatever you want to call it. All right. BG. I take that back. It is BG. <laughs> I mean, there, there's nobody better at the art of trash talk than Brandon Graham. I know. I ain't crazy. Not even close. Not even close. BG has been doing it for a long time. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, 13? 13. Yeah. He just runs his mouth nonstop. Hey, 73. I'm back. What y'all gonna do now, y'all? He trash talks <laughs> me and I'm his teammate. The thing is, his stuff is funny though sometimes. It'd be like funny trash talk. He can get under your skin. He can be annoying. There is no that's what I'm saying, bro. That's, what I'm, that's literally what I'm saying, bro. Now imagine, imagine when um like y'all together playing mad into some shit or y'all playing like bro, oh my god, bro. The funny trash talk, that's like the funniest shit, bro. It'd be having the funniest shit, bro. Oh my god. Trash. I just know he's so fun to be around, bro. Anybody like that, they're so fun to be around. Talk. But sometimes they can be irritating. Right? Like he said, they, they can't get under your skin. It can be irritating. 
You know what I'm saying? Because you don't shut up. You know what I'm saying? You don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, bro, sometimes, bro, shut the fuck up. Like, me personally, I know how to do it, but I know when to shut the fuck up. I know how to read the room. Some people don't know how to read the room. Can can read your skin. The room, bro. He can be annoying. There is no animosity in Brandon Graham's trash talking. Hey, y'all can't block me. Hey, y'all double team me. Y'all still got beat. <laughs> hey, it's all good. I'm just, I'm just talking. Or just talking even shit. pointedness in who he's talking to. It is just whoever's right in front of him. Right here. That's what they're going to be doing, man. So get ready. Get your, get your arm ready. <laughs> I mean, he trash talks everybody, <laughs> including players that he doesn't have to play against and that I have to play against. He's running right at you now, sir. <laughs> <laughs> this this week. Yeah, right I wasn't right happy and with this. Tell me, Jesus, stop doing something the I'm playing, all right? Which sometimes yeah. I'm a little frustrated with. Like, hey, man, you just stick to the offense, guys. Off I, I know, I do. <laughs> <even talk. laughs> I'm saying, we f***ing running that joke ass today. You're not even <laughs> fun. <laughs> <laughs> he should have been talking trash to the O-line, not the people we have to block, but right. Kelsey did a good job. In reality, I, I love BG doing that. I think that the whole team feeds off of it. We got Nolan here now, and I played with Nolan at Georgia for three years, and they like the same when it comes to trash talking. So we're going to see if Nolan, you know, bring that over to the league. Which player trash talk the cousin of Darius Slay? Hmm. Was it BG? I got to say BG. I'm going to go with BG. It was BG. <laughs> Uh, there go 2-1. I should have known. Yeah, 2-1. First down. I'm a little cousin right there. All right, walk. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Look at him. He's like, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course, BG. He was kind of like, oh, my bad, man. I ain't, I ain't, hey, I ain't gonna lie. That don't, that, don't, that don't exclude you, though. That really don't even exclude you. Really, that makes it worse. <laughs> That makes it worse. You know, he gonna find a ten mo. He gonna find ten thousand mo things to say since you his little cousin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you remember the Giants game? Do you happen to see the clip of BG talking in the tunnel when a fan shouted? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's that's by far the best one. I think we saw that clip in the team meeting. You guys suck. You barely beat the Colts. Can you finish the meeting? Damn. He started out with, "Well, we about to <laughs> beat that, that ass, ass. whoop that, that ass." ass. <laughs> 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 Standing right next to him for it, man. The kid might have been eight years old. He didn't care. <laughs> what does the equipment crew do for players on game? Man, the equipment crew does everything. Kind of more like what don't we do for them on game day? Right. Hi, exactly. my name's Ed Miller. Peter Gould. Craig Blake. I'm Nick Still, one of the assistant equipment managers for the Eagles. Our responsibilities on game day for the players is to make sure they have everything they need. And they just make sure you have everything from cleats to gloves. Whatever we need to be able to perform at our best, they're gonna do it for us, no questions right. asked. Would you say that you're a needy player with the equipment crew? I would not say I'm a needy player. I don't think so. Um, no. I try not to bother those guys. I'm probably one of the most needy players, unfortunately. Is there a position group that's the neediest that you'd say? <laughs> the neediest guys. Uh, they're usually the guys on the outside, the receivers, the DBs. Mm. Let me hesitate for suspense. It's wide receivers. It's probably between wide receivers and DBs. Probably receivers. Wide receivers, for sure. The DBs. Wow. They like to look good, they like to feel good, so they can play good. If you had to pick out one guy from the team, who would you say is the neediest? Uh-oh. <laughs> Man, who's the neediest? I'm not answering that one. I'm not answering that one. Devontae Smith. I mean, if it's cold, it's Devontae Smith, for sure. Would Damn. you say that you're a needy player? Grab me a towel. Fix that. Oh. Uh, hey, need towel. I wouldn't say I'm a needy <laughs> player. I feel like it's kind of simple with me. Let me. He's talking about a little simple. simple. Of course, that's any. That's what any nigga would say. He would say that. Okay. I already, I already know it. I already knew it. Hey, can I get a hand warmer? Towel. <laughs> Grab me a towel. <laughs> Hey Pete, fix this. Hey, get some water. He needs just water? hand warmer. Where are you from? Hey, can I get a hand warmer? Oh, sweetie, that day. That's not needed. That's part of the game. It's cold. You need a hand warmer. That's not needed. It's something always going on with his cleats. Hey, I need more cleats. My cleats I need real. More cleats. My cleats just fall apart. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Hey, hey, I can get one of them towels. <laughs> hey, I can get one of them towels. <laughs>
I need a towel. Towel, it's raining, you need that. Take my vase off. That's not needed. See, that's <laughs> like, okay, we in the game, like that's something that has to happen. You gotta take your vase off. You need your scullies. Give me a scull, okay, that's what I need. Let me get two scullies. The scully wasn't even for me, it was for somebody else. So I was like, let me go ahead and give me hey, one. Hey, have you ever seen Boosie, bro? Boosie the same way, bro. Boosie always on 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 Instagram Live or yeah, he, yeah, on Instagram Live or on his Instagram story, he always talking about he needs some. He always needs the out, most outrageous shit. Like he was talking about, I need some giraffes for my for my zoo. I'm about to make. I'm like Boosie, you too damn rich, bro. What what are you doing, bro? Like bro, just bro, just doing anything. Let me get two scullies. <laughs> the scully wasn't even for me. It was for somebody else. So I was like, let me go ahead and give me one. He won't want me going give me one. It makes sense. <laughs> hey Pete, fix this. Hey Pete, that nigga Pete hate his ass. Off. You know you're a needy player equipment-wise when you forge a relationship so strong with one of the equipment managers right. that you're taking him to professional basketball games. That is true. What? That is true. Devontae Smith did take me to a Sixers game this year. I feel like you, <laughs> he's paying Pete back for all the crap he had to give him all through Sixers. Right. No, I would say he was very appreciative of the things that we do for him, so he was, you know, thanking me for it. <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> that's that, you know, that's that Louisiana hospitality. We keep it oh, polite. Louisiana, we okay. you know what we need. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. What goes into getting a nickname? When it comes to nicknames on the team, I think the more time you spend with them, you kind of just develop, oh, you know what, this guy has a knack for this. Or for me, it's just names. Whatever your name is, I'll, I'll shorten it up or I'll make one up because I'm lazy. Somebody allowed to give themselves a nickname? No, that's weird, that's corny. Yeah. No, you can't give yourself a nickname. If you do yeah. that, no one's gonna respect too hard. it. That's like bringing the rule. Didn't Slay give, give himself that name? What's your nickname? Always open. Smitty. People probably call me Gotti. Slam Reaper. Yeah, 1K. Well, you just got two syllables. Jack stole. You you really don't get too many nicknames. Skinny yeah. Batman. Skinny yeah, Batman. Batman. Swole Batman. Sure. Swole Batman. Batman. <laughs> I hear rumblings about that one. That one's kind of out there, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that one's pretty cool. That one's pretty cool. Let's go in, man. Come on. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Go, go, go. When the whole superhero theme was going, I was like, man, Boston's got to be Ant-Man. If, if there's all these Ant -Man? Batmans running around, nah, Boston's got to That got to be the worst. Nah, bro. Ant-Man, nah, bro. Nah, bro. If a nigga give me that nickname, bro, I ain't going to lie. I'm fighting. Anybody, whoever give me the nickname, we squaring up, bro. Let's go to the bathroom real quick, bro. We squaring up, bro. It's no way. It ain't no way. Ant Man, bro. No, bro. No. Gotta be Ant Man. <laughs> he did. He did. You know what? And we actually had a conversation, man. He was. <laughs> he was like, "Hey, man, if you score." Would you be opposed to like having a Ant-Man mask? <laughs> I'm Ant -Man. like, yeah, bring, come on, let's go. A little Ant-Man mask. Which so. nickname is the best? Slim, Skinny Batman, I think is, is, is always yeah, one of my Batman favorites. Is hard. Skinny Batman is I might have gotten Covey. I, got, I sometimes call him the Mormon Missile. It's like watching a little prairie dog going across the field. <laughs> Listen, I think I heard Coach Sirianni say in a team meeting or two, so I'll take that. I'll take credit on that one. I like uh, Big Play Slay. I always thought he gave himself that Big name. Play I'll probably say Beef Jerky. I think Cam, like, he made his own <laughs> Beef Jerky or something like this. That's just a classic fits him well, beef man. Beef Jerky? Boy. Boy. But my personal favorite is probably Sweaty J. Sweaty J. Might be Sweaty J. Josh, sweat, 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 sweat. Sweaty J. Sweaty J. Nasty J. Coldest one there for sure. Just because of his uh, his name and his celebration. There's nothing better than seeing his sack celebration. It goes so well with that. Okay. Okay. Yeah! We come okay. Out I like that. Okay. Okay. Forehead, I see that. We make plays. We right in his forehead. Okay. Okay. I like that. Okay. Now I, I understand now. Okay. The best celebration I've seen. Oh yeah, it's the best one for sure. And I and and I didn't make it up myself. Before I went up to sing my rookie, you know, my rookie song in front of the whole team. They introduced me as Sweaty J. From then on, it's been Sweaty J. That is what they Sweaty do, Sweaty J! Hey! 